crowds. I just want to show you around where we are uh, a little bit. These robots uh, are just setting up for a bit of a synchronized dance that they've been doing every so often. They're actually uh, designed to be sort of in-home helpers. Uh, there's a station over there where they're making coffee. There's one sort of behind us where they're playing basketball. The idea is that they could be sort of live-in aids for the disabled and whatnot. And there is all sorts of fun things here for the crowds. There are uh, mechanical arms that are reading your horoscopes. There's a basketball court that can uh, analyze your style and, and suggest improvement techniques. So it's very, very, very clever. But over and above the fun things, there's some very serious things here as well. Major innovations for industry, uh, logistics, mining, ports, all sorts of things. Uh, military uh, iterations as well. And of course, the big question here is how is China doing in the AI race? How is it doing in particular in comparison to its key competitor, America? Because AI is a massively important uh, new front, if you like, in that sort of competitive relationship between the two. And the answer to that, Anna, is sort of relatively complex. In order to have good AI, you need three things. You need a lot of data. Uh, China has a, a relative amount of very, very good data in some areas, less in others. Uh, you need very skilled people. They certainly have that. But you also need very, very good software and hardware. And that is the section on which China has been a little bit hampered because of a major uh, US Chips Act that came in last year. So the US essentially banned the export of its highest quality technology to China uh, to try and essentially hamper the development of this industry. And China has retaliated and there's a suggestion the US could up uh, those regulations. So that kind of battle uh, is very hot and absolutely playing out. Uh, but look, China has a lot of strength to not least its people power, huge population to do uh, some of the more uh, sort of early sort of stage, less technically advanced work that needs to be done to teach the computers uh, what to do. This is absolutely an exciting place to be uh, at the moment. And China, absolutely a very key player in this industry.